Okay, guys, we got a special video today. We have an old patient that came back to us. Over two years ago, I did his full treatment from beginning to end. Examination, x-ray video, went through the whole process over a two-week program. This is Jesus. He was a work comp injury for five years, lost the best time of his life. His buddy had surgery. He said, hell no surgery for me. I'm going to watch this chiropractor on YouTube get me better in person. So he came in, did his thing. He's back. You're going to ask, why is he back? He's back because he was only 60% better back then and he wants more. He still feels pretty darn good from all that time with me, but he wants more. So we're going to do a two-part series on him. I hope you guys enjoy this. Check his story out. Took new x-rays. Check those out. We adjusted him like we did before. Yeah, here we go. Wow, you got it on time. How did it go this weekend? Pretty good, man. No pain. When's the last time you had a weekend with no pain? About... <laughs> Can't remember. <laughs> yeah, but I feel much better now. I'm skipping the atlas, going right to the occiput because of the x rays, which I'll show right now. It shows an occiput move. Uh, it's out, so uh, we're gonna get in here and just crank on him, and he says he can't wait for me to just beat him up. <laughs> There's small pleasures in life. One is scaring the shit out of your patients. That's a fun <laughs> one for me. So we're gonna get in here and uh, adjust this occiput, his head, onto his neck. And so normally I do an atlas adjustment first, but he's already been through my program, and he didn't respond as well as I like the first time, and the occiput was off on the first x-ray set um, two years ago. And uh, this time it's off again even more. So I'm gonna go right into the oxygen this time. So what you do is you come off the uh, back of the ear over here. You get your uh, part of this part of your knuckle. You put it right into the ear here. And you see how his ear kind of flops forward. I'm just hooked here. He can tell you I'm on his skull right here. And the trick with this one is doing a scooping motion because the occiput is not a normal joint. And so you have to actually Mm. Scoop that shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Shit, you moved everything. <laughs> He's going to be a little nervous here, so I'm going to take our time so we can get him um, relaxed. But again, right this part of my knuckle here, right behind his ear, there's a little fossa here, a little hole in his head right there. I'm going to stick that part <laughs> of my knuckle right there. And then we're going to get it locked in. I use his chin to just direct the angle. I'm not really pulling. <laughs> On that. Fuck. Feel that top of my head. Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. I gave it a double shot there because the first time it didn't move quite as much because I was talking too freaking much. Feeling my eyes. Yep, oh, yep, 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 yep. Now, how about that throbbing in your neck? Remember, like last week? Is that there at all? Nah, I don't feel it. Yeah, I feel it all like all the yeah, yeah, top yeah, of my yeah, head. Yeah. Like that. That's an occiput adjustment, guys. You can actually see him react the way normal people, people react because it's the skull that's all screwed up and how it's oriented on the neck. He did his occiput yesterday and he had a revelation, but he brought me a whole bunch of notes and these are some of the best notes he's taken the whole time because they're so detailed. When I got to back to the hotel, um, my legs started feeling wobbly, uh, weak, and um, I couldn't, I didn't have no strength. I thought I was in a faint. And, um, and I started getting dizzy as well, all at once. I think I started panicking and my my heart rate started going fast. Ever had this symptom before in the past? No. He laid down? Yeah. It went down a little bit, right? Yeah, for like an hour. An hour, and then he got back up and did it again. What happened after that? I still I still was wobbly, probably like a three or four. Yeah, but he said it got up to an eight or nine. Yeah. That's how, my, how bad it got. So what happened later? I started calming down, and uh, I started noticing as, uh, it was just going down and down until it went away. So he had a little wobbly legs. It got bad. And so I told him, I go, this is a good sign. Why is it a good sign? And I wanted to share this with you guys, and I know it's gonna, you guys are gonna get tired of this conversation, but I like to record this stuff because this is a, a, a moment that a lot of people have in here that should be expressed. So he, ha he panicked because it was something that he didn't know about, but the real panic is the subconscious. He, I, touched on something that was legitimately his problem, his core issue. He doesn't even know he has it. But because we opened up the wound to a certain extent, subconsciously his mind panicked because all of a sudden we were exposing his real issue. And this happens a lot. People cry in my office, you see, them all, you see people crying all the time, and people go through these ridiculous kind of weird symptoms because why? Because they have to work through these issues. And it's not just a physical issue, it's a mental issue. Right. He had a big occiput adjustment, rocked his world. But I've learned over the years, we want to make sure we follow up with a good higher neurologic 
adjustment after a good night's sleep. Again, it's a psychological game too, not just physical. So we got to kind of work together here. Hooked on the oxbit mm -hmm. here. Tender a little bit today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hit. <clears throat> Ow. Oh. <laughs> Feels like fireworks. Fireworks. That's right. Uh, fireworks. Yeah. Going at all of those. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, Jesus is like the perfect Ed, Mc Ed McMahon for me. You guys don't know who that is, but straight man. When I say a joke, he laughs at all of them. He he's a good laugher. <laughs> mm, see, that's uh, there's some serious tension in his neck because that's a self-adjusting pop there. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck. That one went good. Oh, fuck. Fireworks again? Or something different? Oh, fuck. You got me good. Yeah, I did. Fuck. Next time I'll use lube. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And you've done this before. Hey, Pan. Good. And always barefoot is better, guys, because you feel with your feet way better with your shoes off. And we all these nerve endings we have on our toes can be sensed by the brain better when your shoes are off. Okay, breathe in for me. And out. Breathe in again. Out. We're gonna work on his jaw right now. It should be pretty painful. Open your mouth just a little bit, please. Just a lit right there. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And this came to my mind when he talked about his uh, accidents. We haven't done this on camera yet. He had a couple of accidents, uh, multiple accidents when he was young. <laughs> and um, I told him, I go, I think this whole issue came from when you fell on your head. He goes, you think so? And so he fell off a van one time, hit his head on the ground. He felt he was swinging from a car, fell and hit his head on the ground. But one time, he was trying to screw around and hit a uh, banana or something, banana peel, slipped and hit his entire jaw, lower jaw on the ground, knocked his lower teeth out, right? Yeah. I so I think everything stemmed from there. Take some pressure off his skull by working his jaw. And look at him, he's crying right now. Slow, deep breaths. Okay, breathe. Slow, deep breaths. In the nose, out the mouth. Good. Woo wee! Now we're gonna adjust his jaw, okay? This should hurt a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. No, this won't hurt that much. This is pretty simple. We're gonna put our, we're gonna go right, Pisoform contact right to his TMJ. I'm gonna set it right down and let you guys watch. Okay? Mm. Good. Okay. Oh, fuck. Right in here. Oh, 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 fuck. Yeah, I think there's something wrong on the left side. What do you guys yeah, think? Yeah, it fucking went off. Yeah, you cracked it a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do his oxbit again. This is Thursday morning, and the reason we're doing it right now is uh, he had some really great strides with his oxbit adjustment, but it also hurt the, him like the Dickens. Yeah. Not smoother. Smoother? Yeah. Good, that's what I wanted. That's it right there. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Funny that one rocked your world now. Yeah. Not as smooth? No, not like the, the right side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we haven't done one Alice adjustment on him yet, so we're gonna do one right now. Okay, I'm setting up on his lateral mass of his atlas here. Mm. Tender? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Good. Does I feel a little different? Yeah. In the occiput? Last day. This is four weeks, meaning two weeks two years ago and two weeks this year, which is two years later. Why don't you tell us the difference between those two weeks and these two weeks? Wow. More concentrated, more, uh, I got more done, like physically. Mentally, uh -huh, everything, uh -huh. everything went smoother this two weeks than the last past two weeks. Did you work harder this time than last time? I'm kind of curious there, just because I'm trying to uh, pass on your expertise after four weeks with me. Just uh, relax yourself, uh, have confidence, like I said, and trust. 
Trust, trust, trust him. So I'm going to tell you what I see the difference is. Uh -huh. The first time he was in so much pain. He was in so much pain and uh, he had been f screwed over by so many different doctors and he lost complete trust of the process. Not just me, but the process. And it took him almost the entire first time just to kind of trust that he was going to get better, I think. I don't know. I, I could see it in his eyes last time because I see the difference between now and then. Yeah. And his eyes are like so much more ready to learn this time. Last time, if you look at some of the old videos of him, um, he, his eyes were a little more beady, a little more judging, a little <laughs> bit more, uh, you know, not that he wasn't a great guy. I mean, he said all the right things, but yeah. you could tell. I mean, I can only see the difference now and then. And this is what I, I remember this. It's kind of this like, like scowl on his face the whole time. And he got better, but the scowl on his face. It could have been the pain, it could have been just that he didn't trust the process, but this time, the whole time he's been just like a wide-eyed open kid, ready to go, let's go, yeah. let's go, let's go. The last time I came here? Last time you came in here? Uh, 60%. Gotcha. And that held for a couple years? Yeah, it, it, that's the reason I came back, one of the reasons too, because it didn't wear off. Those two, those two years that that I came to visit you, uh, it didn't wear off. And that's where I like, your work didn't wear off on me. So yeah, it's good. And so he came back because he saw the truth that two years later, I still feel the same. I still feel better. And you guys saw the original exam on this one. How much better are you this time? Right now, like, I could tell you about like 90, 95. Yeah, 95. Yeah. And consistently for days now. Yeah. In days. So let's go over your symptoms. So low back pain, that's what he came in for. 95% better there, right? That's what we're thinking? Correct. We had neck pain before. Yeah, it's bad, way better. And the dizziness. Once a week dizziness. Do you have any dizziness at all? No. We, uh, ringing in the ears two times a week. No, I don't have them anymore. Heart palpitations. Shit, I haven't felt any heart palpitations in the past two weeks. Anxiety again? Anxiety, depression? Does that feel uh, like it's changed a little bit? Your outlook and kind of stuff? That was less, just less. Anything else you want to share? No, I'm just happy that... I feel better, man. Four weeks? That's, yeah, that's, yeah, pretty, yeah. that's pretty good. This will be on a playlist because he has his own playlist, his work comp playlist. <laughs> I'm going to add these to that. So there'll be a bunch of videos on there. I have no idea how many videos. So you get to watch this whole four years together. You know what I want to do on him? I'm going to do a, a TMJ work on him. That's what I want to do. One more time on the job. Oh, shit. I think we kind of made a turn that TMJ work we did. Mm -hmm. I mean, overall, you seem to do better after that. And we'll do a simple C3 adjustment on him and the job. Keep it. <clears throat> Smooth though. Smooth. Good. Left side's always been his little problem. We're gonna go C3 again, see how he does. <clears throat> Good. Much smoother than yesterday. Yeah. Way smoother. Maybe his jaw here real quick too. Open your mouth, please. Oh, uh -huh. 